Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. In this video, we are going to take up another very very interesting question from IMO. We are going to solve one inequality 4x square over 1 minus square root 2x plus 1 whole square less than 2x plus 9 for the real values of x. So let's get started by writing this denominator cannot be equal to 0. So I can write 1 minus square root 2x plus 1 cannot be equal to 0. Now I will take this minus term to the RHS. So we can write 1 cannot be equal to square root 2x plus 1. Now we will consider squaring both sides. So this is square root and square will be cancelled out. 1 square is 1. So 1 cannot be equal to 2x plus 1 or 2x plus 1 cannot be equal to 1. Now we will subtract 1 from both sides. So RHS will be 0. LHS will be 2x. So I can write 2x cannot be equal to 0 or x cannot be equal to 0. So we have one condition. Our solution cannot be 0. Now we will simplify our LHS expression. Let me write separately 4x square over 1 minus square root of 2x plus 1 whole square. Now 4 is 2 square. So can we write numerator as 2x whole square? And denominator we have 1 minus square root of 2x plus 1 whole square or we can write 2x over 1 minus square root of 2x plus 1 and then complete square. This we can write equal to 2x over. Let us put power first. Power is 2. Denominator is 1 minus the square root of 2x plus 1. Now we will rationalize our denominator. So we have to multiply numerator denominator by denominator's conjugate. 1 plus the square root of 2x plus 1. In numerator also, we will multiply the same. Square root 2x plus 1. Now you can see if I will consider 1 as a and square root 2x plus 1 as b, then this is a minus b and here this is a plus b. So instead of writing a minus b times a plus b, we can utilize the difference of two squares form also. So I will write our expression of LHS as 2x times 1 plus a square root of 2x plus 1 over 1 square minus a square root of 2x plus 1 whole square and then we have the complete square. Now we can simplify our denominator. So I will write here 2x times 1 plus a square root of 2x plus 1 over 1 square is 1 minus square root 2x plus 1 whole square is root free. So I will write minus 2x plus 1 in the bracket and then we have the complete square. Now I can write 2x times 1 plus square root of 2x plus 1 over 1 minus 2x minus 1. So plus and minus 1 from the denominator will be over and power is 2. Or we can write 2x times square root 2x plus 1 plus 1 whole square over minus 2x whole square. So better is to consider the complete power 2. 
now we can cancel 2x and 2x so squaring is there so denominator will be minus 1 i can write here the square root 2x plus 1 plus 1 over minus 1 whole square so this will be equal to square root 2x plus 1 plus 1 whole square this is our lhs expression let's solve our inequality i will write square root 2x plus 1 plus 1 whole square less than 2x plus 9. Now let us say this is A and let us say this is B. So ultimately we have to use A plus B whole square formula which will be equal to A square plus B square plus 2 times AB. So I can write a square so square root 2x plus 1 whole square 2x plus 1 1 whole square so 1 plus 2 times the product so square root 2x plus 1 times 1 is same as 2 times square root 2x plus 1 less than 2x plus 9 now we will subtract 2x from both sides of the inequality so this plus 2x and minus 2x will be over plus and minus 2x will be over so we can write 2 plus 2 times a square root 2x plus 1 less than 9 now we will subtract 2 from both the sides of this inequality we will cancel plus and minus 2 from lhs so we can write 2 times a square root 2x plus 1 less than 7. Now we will divide both sides by 2. So 2 and 2 will be over. We will get a square root of 2x plus 1 less than 7 over 2. Let us write here a square root 2x plus 1 less than 7 over 2. Now our first condition on x was x can't be 0. Now one condition we will write from here as this radicand must be positive or 0. So I will write radicand must be greater than or equal to 0. So 2x plus 1 is greater than or equal to 0. Now subtract 1 from both the sides. We will get 2x is greater than or equal to negative 1. Once we will divide both sides of the inequality by 2, we will get x must be greater than or equal to negative half. Now we will solve here. Let us consider squaring both sides. So square root 2x plus 1 whole square 7 over 2 whole square. So square root and square will be over. I can write 2x plus 1 less than 49 over 4. Now subtract 1 from both sides. We will get 2x is less than 45 over 4. Now we will divide both sides of the inequality by 2. We will get x must be less than 45 over 8. So this is our third condition. Let me write first one x can't be 0. Second one x must be greater than or equal to negative half. Once we will take intersection of all the three conditions, we will get our answer x belongs to minus half to 0 union 0 is excluded 0 to 45 over 8 i hope friends you will like this video thank you so very much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck and take care of yourself